guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be me trying to save you some money. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a dupes video and I'm going to be talking about Focalore. It is a brand that makes these gorgeous eyeshadow palettes. They also have a ton of other things and these palettes are really amazing. So I'm super excited to be partnering with them for today's video. These palettes are dupes for some pretty popular palettes out there. And if you don't want to splurge and you want good quality, these palettes are really good quality. Now the palettes are not like identical to the dupes, but they are very similar or similar enough. But I don't feel like they're straight up copying the um, higher end palettes. They have, kind of have their own style to them. So I'm very excited to be talking about them. And yeah, I'm gonna do swatches and then we're gonna do a really pretty eye look. And if I look really intense in this intro, it's cause I already have my brows on and I typically don't do my brows really thick unless I'm gonna do like a full face of makeup. And girl, we're gonna get glam. We're gonna get glam, shall we? Before we start off this journey in today's video, we're gonna sing the subscribe song and then we're gonna jump Right in. Woo! Be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, let's jump right in today's video. So first I'm gonna talk about the products with you guys and then we will do a look. The first palette is We Care Your Favors palette. Now this palette is pretty similar to the Rose Gold palette, which is the palette I have up top here from Huda Beauty. They are pretty similar, but not identical. The Huda one has a couple more shimmers than the We Care Your Favors palette, so they're not identical, but they are pretty close. Um, but here are some swatches. They are really nice, creamy, soft, beautiful eyeshadows, and they are really nice mattes as well. So they do perform well. I also like that they have a nice big mirror in the palette, so if you travel with it or you use it as your mirror to get ready, that's an option for you. Next up, we're gonna keep the party moving. I have the Sunrise palette. I think this is probably the prettiest out of all of their palettes. And they have these gorgeous foiled shades, and they have the glitter shades, and then they have the concealer down here. We can carve out your crease if you wanted to do that um, and then they have nice mattes throughout the palette whenever I swatched them they felt really nice the shimmers felt extremely creamy and they were a very similar formula as was the nudes palette from Huda Beauty so here are the two side by side and as you can see they are not identical but they are quite similar so I think you still get the same vibe from each palette and you can get very similar eye looks from each eyeshadow palette I'm kind of leaning towards using this one today because this one is in particular the one I'm most interested in seeing how it blends out on my eyes. I also got the Possibilities palette. Now this one is a little bit bigger, but you also get a really nice big mirror in it, which I'm such a sucker for a nice big mirror. And then the, um, the shimmers are super, super duper creamy. I will be using this one in the future. I might tap in it today, but the Sunrise palette's got my eyes on it. And these are definitely not identical by any means. I just held up the Jaclyn Hill palette because the layout is kind of similar, mostly in these bottom colorful purples and blues. If you guys can kind of tell, like there's a similarity there. Is it an exact dupe? No, but it does have similar colors. So just an option for you guys. And then quickly, I wanted to share with you guys they have these cute little sculpting glow palettes which I thought these were really pretty now the contours in them are a little bit cool tone so just a forewarning this one is 01 but the one I think I'm gonna be using today is 03 it's got like more of a champagne highlight and a little bit of a deeper contour which I think will work best for my skin tone but I thought these were really cute and then lastly I do have a couple other liquid lips now all these colors are quite spicy so the eye look I do today I will not be as crazy because I do want to try on one of these spicy lip colors and I tend personally not to do like this wild eye look and didn't do some really intense lip because I feel like on my face it's just like woo it's a lot going on so I will do like a calmer eye look we're using that sunrise palette anyway so join me let's do it together all right, I put my hair in this crazy little ponytail just to get it out of my face for the most part so we can focus on the eyes. So we're gonna do the eyes first. They also sent me their little brushes, so I figure, hey, I'll use these today as well. <laughs> so first, I think I'm gonna go into Tenderly Light, which is like a mauve pink shade. Whew, they have a lot that comes off. I like that. I guess we're gonna pop into the crease. Do we pop into the crease? I'm like, I don't know what I wanna do with my look. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this big blender too and soften it up as I blend it out. 
And we're just gonna blend this all in the crease. And I'm gonna go all the way to the inner corner and then bring it in the outer corner. And then I'm going in with this bigger clean brush and I'm just going to soften up the look. Add a little bit more, cause I kinda want this color to be like a little bit more intense in the crease. I think Tickle is what would be like the equivalent and very similar to the color I just used. With that same tiny brush, I'm gonna tap into Punch Pink, which this is a little more of a like a fuchsia-y, brighter matte pink shade. And I'm gonna push this more so into that outer corner area because I just wanna deepen it up. I wanna make it a little more intense. I love using colors like this too. They're like some of my favorites. And these are working really well. Like, as you can see, it's like super intense pigment. And then I'm just gonna take another fluffy blender just to soften up the edges. I think Spanked is really similar to the color I just used if you're following along. So now I'm gonna take a little flat synthetic brush and I'm gonna go into Limitless. So this is pretty cool because it's the concealer shade. Ooh, a lot comes off. That you can kind of carve out your crease with, which is so unique that they're in both of these palettes. The one in the Sunrise palette is like a little bit of a lighter shade than the one in the Huda palette. I'm just gonna apply this all over the eyelid and we're gonna add a really pretty color on top. Kind of can't decide though, do I want to add a pretty matte color on top or do I want to add one of these shimmers on top? It's always such a hard call. Ta -da! So we have our eyes carved out. Now the hard decision, what color do I want to put on my eyelid? I really kind of want to put this pure nude. This is just like a very light pinky color all over my eyelid. But then like, how can I resist these gorgeous, gorgeous, oh, these are so pretty like shimmery shades. I think I'm gonna go with Pinwheel Galaxy, which is a really pretty pinky nude. I think Daydream in this palette would be the equivalent. So freaking pretty. Guys, this is like honestly such a gorgeous color. I, I'm happy we went with her. Just like really flirty, really gorgeous. I feel like whenever you use like pretty pinks like this too, it's such a great way to implement color into your looks, but not such of an intense color where it's like, ooh. The great thing is I am not even wetting these colors um, because that concealer I put down is a bit thicker. It's working out beautifully. So now I'll go back in with a little bit of Punch Pink, which is that fuchsia matte shade, and I'm just gonna blend it to soften that edge. So pretty, oh my gosh, I love it. Ugh, I think this look is so soft, flirty, but Ugh, I just love the way the light hits that shimmer. Really gorgeous. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner and some lashes, of course. I'm just gonna line my eye. And what this does is it really helps prevent there being like a gap between your false lashes and your real lashes. Also, if you do this, it helps too with the um, mascara and your real lashes. They're not to be a gap. These lashes are like really flirty, which goes great with our look today. So of course I'm gonna give my lashes a curl. Ah, I pinched my eye. <laughs> That's my worst nightmare coming true. Okay, I don't know why I was getting so close to my eye today. Like my lash, my skin, oh my gosh. So we're giving them a good little curl curl. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara, of course. I always put on mascara before the false lashes. And I have a full dedicated video on how to apply false lashes if you guys um, are interested. Okay, so we got some lash glue on. We're gonna bend it, let it dry a little bit. That way the lash glue is really tacky. We're just going to apply it. 
I normally will let it set for just like 20 seconds before I squeeze my real and false lashes together because I don't want to uplift the false lash. But I think it looks really gorgeous with the look, super flirty. What do you guys think? Now I'm gonna go back into the Sunrise palette and tap Tinder lightly. And I'm gonna run just a little bit of this all the way from the lower lash line to the inner lower lash line, if that makes sense. I kinda said that weird, but I'm just putting it all the way. And I'm kinda blowing it out a little right there on the corner. Now I am just hitting the lower lashes with a little bit of mascara, of course. There we are, darling. So now we're gonna do a little bit of face makeup. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of the contour shade from this palette. And we're just gonna blend it out per usual. And I always take a little bit and hit the jaw area and just drag it down the neck. And now I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Highlight Shade. That looks so blinding. Okay, I'm excited, here we go. Yes, ma'am, wow. Guys, that is so intense. I love it. So now I'm gonna give her a little spritzy poo. And I'm just using the Dewy Set to do that. Now for lips. I think I'm gonna try out Who's Next V03, this lip color. I think it looks very pretty. Very pretty. I do. Oh my God, it's like so spicy. It doesn't really match my eye look. Maybe I should have used another color, huh? These are really creamy. Smell pretty good. I love this lip color, but in no way does it match my eye look. So we're gonna have to switch lip colors, but this one's really pretty for summertime. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going with a darker color. So the one I'm going with now is called Passionate V07. Guys, I cannot tell you the last time I wore a red color like this, but I'm digging it. And I feel like the lip color was not patchy at all. I feel like it was very full coverage. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this saves you a little bit of money. Um, I really like the quality of the products or else I wouldn't be talking about them. I love the lip products. They're really soft, really smooth, really easy to apply. And then the palettes were very nice. Uh, quality and I I'm a, I adore the eye look. It was so easy to do with this little sunrise palette. She's so pretty. So I'll definitely be using her more as well as the other palettes. Um, I thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, Folklore, for partnering with me for this video. And we're going to do a secret word at the end of this video. And the secret word is for the people who stay to the very end of the video to comment down below. <laughs> the secret word is going to be. Shablitsky. No one knows how to spell that though. Supercalifragilistic. No. We need an easier word. A. What? Area 51. The word is Area 51. Oh my gosh, of course. By the way, I think like that's really going to happen and I think people are going to get hurt and this is going to go from a joke to a bad thing. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. But the word is Area 51. Comment down Area 51 below if you say to the end of the video, lots of aliens happening. Will we find aliens? I don't know. Anyways, comment Area 51 down below if you say to the end of the video. Don't tell the people in the comment section why you're commenting that because you gotta say to the end of the video to know, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Girl, we're gonna get glam, shall we? Ooh. Ah. So, baby, don't be shy. Hold on,
Look at that. <laughs> of course, I have lipstick on my teeth. Is... I don't know.